gentlemen. What's up? You finished everybody in the first round. That's a pretty dope stat. Does that continue? Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I, if you look at my interviews leading up to all my fights, I've never been like, yeah, I'm going to get this guy out of there in the first round. You know what I mean? Um, I just, it's just kind of a byproduct of the way I fight. I'm going to fight how I always fight. I'm real aggressive, real uh, explosive, powerful. So, I mean, it wouldn't shock me if, uh, if you know, it's a little tougher fight and it goes three rounds, it wouldn't definitely wouldn't surprise me if I take him out in the first either. Is this the toughest opponent you fought? I mean, you know, Luke Trainer definitely uh, seems to be the closest odds we've seen with you. You had the fight with Big Tuna. I mean, he had some hype for sure. Right. Is this the toughest opposition? Um, yeah, I'd say he's the toughest opposition. Um, but you know, when you've been knocking everybody out in the first round, that's okay. You know. <laughs> Ryan Bader said you're pretty good. You, you keeping his ass in the gym? You've been working out with him? I, I have. He, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep him from retiring as long as I, as long as I can, you know. <laughs> For, to be a training partner? To I mean, a, he could switch to yeah, coach, right? To be a training partner. I mean, I think he'll stick around and help out. I don't think he's, like, really going to transition hard into being an MMA coach. You know what I mean? So, um, He's a fantastic training partner and, uh, you know, essentially kind of acts like a coach while he's still fighting. So I'm hoping that that continues for a while. But I know, you know, maybe three more fights and he's probably going to want to retire. What does a win over Luke Trainer do for you? Where do you go, for, go from here? Um, I think a win over Luke Trainer means it's time to start fighting guys in the top 10. You know, um, we, we talked to us before my you know, development and contract fights. We were like really trying to slow roll it and, you know, get as much experience as possible before we jumped up to the tougher opponents. But when you knock everybody out early, uh, it's just hard to do that. You know what I mean? So, you know, they've been kind of pushing me and that's, that's good. Luke's a great opponent. If I beat him, I think it's very clear that, you know, I'm ranked, I'm ranked in the top 10. It's time for me to start fighting guys in the top 10. Pedro has a long way to go, but I don't think he's uh, transitioning to being an MMA coach. It seems like he's transitioning to being a uh, bar and restaurant owner, right? In Scottsdale? Bar and restaurant owner. I think what he really wants to do is be a professional hunter. Yeah. Yeah, more than anything, dude. If he could like live in the woods, I think he would. Is he good enough? He's good. He's good. I've been telling him, he's, 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 like, he's got a good personality. He's a funny guy. We need to get him like a hunting show. Have you uh, heard good things about Poor Decisions, his new bar? I have. I mean, I haven't been there because I've in camp but i'm looking forward to tearing the place down it's a good name right it's a good name right it's a good name yeah. all right enough about bader uh when i came to interview you in uh mesa arizona a couple weeks ago i walk in it's just you and this empty you know warehouse power MMA, and then paulo costa i was surprised to see him what was it like training with him at power and at uh and at fight ready he also went on instagram and thanked you for all the hard rounds so what was it like to train with him it was great dude um you know, as a big guy, like it can be hard to find other big guys to train with. Um, if you're not at a, one of those giant gyms, especially. So yeah, Paula coming into town for my first few weeks of camp was, was awesome. We got a bunch of tough grappling and like essentially gym fights, you know what I mean? Which is super valuable experience for someone like me who's had really short pro fights. Um, you know, it was amazing. I, I, I would imagine that we're going to continue to do it when he's in the, Everybody's in the States because we both got some great things out of it. You're keeping the mustache trend. Uh, the must dude, the mustache train is rolling. <laughs> what about the what about the walkout song trend? Yeah, danger zone. Yeah, danger okay. zone. <laughs> All right. Uh what about other valuable training experience? You got your guy Double J MMA, Jordan Johnson, your wrestling coach. He has that little Fedor body type, as Bader like to call it. How valuable is that nice. experience training with him? Uh, it's huge. You know, he is a, he is a great MMA wrestler. You know, that's really what he did in his career. Like, you know what I mean? He would just go out there and put it on guys and he's got a lot of great tricks of the trade and technique that he, you know, shares with me. And it's a great, uh, he's like the perfect compliment on the coaching end to my striking guy, Danny Brandt. Uh, last one or two, who's in your corner for this one? Is Danny going to be here? Yeah, Danny Brandt and Jordan Johnson. All day. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. I like the new logo. I like the merch you put out for this fight. I feel like you definitely didn't design it. You don't seem like a, a merch designer. Who who was it? Was it Lisa? Um, it was my 
my one of my my my, my marketing agent Alex Guerrero. He works with um, you know, uh, basketball players, football players, baseball players, and stuff. And they have a um, they have a company that they essentially like uh, contract this type of stuff with. So we the company like started firing us logos and we tweaked them and went back and forth and this is what we arrived at. So I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Sullivan right here. Uh, you had a, as, as far as we know, a great camp and you look great, um, coming off a, a, you know, great performances in 2022. How do you feel going into this fight and what can fans expect come Friday night? I felt better than I've ever felt. You know, I just, uh, if you ask my coaches and my training partners, I just keep getting better and better, you know, all the time. So you know, every little thing is getting better too. My, my weight cut is going smoother. You know, I'm, I'm big and strong. I'm just the perfect size. I want to be, I'm kicking ass in all my sparring sessions. You know, I'm feeling more and more confident all the time. So, I mean, I feel great. I'm going to go out and, you know, all you can do is just fight hard and let the chips fall where they may. But I think, uh, I think I'm going to take it to the trainer. Awesome. And last question for you. Do you plan to stay very active, of course, going into the rest of 2023? And what would you like to come for you or what would you like to see come for you going into the rest of the year? Yeah, I would, I would be happy with getting three fights in this year. That's what I did last year. And I think that's a good pace. It allows you to, you know, nurse injuries and, and make sure your weights and everything's all dialed in in between fights. It's, but it's, uh, you know, it's active enough. So I would like three fights again this year. Hey, what's up, man? Um, you being at uh, Fight Ready, did you uh, have a chance to meet or learn from uh, John Jones or uh, Kelvin Gaslam? I didn't get to train or or meet uh, Jones at all. He was there. He's there for kind of a quick stint. I did train with Kelvin Gaslam though, and uh, we that was nice. We mostly wrestled, and um, he's a great dude. I really liked him. He's one of my best friends. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, next question: uh, What prompted you years ago to get into mixed martial arts? Uh, I, I wanted to get an MMA from an early age. You know, I followed the sport, uh, you know, avidly as a kid. My dad introduced me to it. And you know, growing up as a wrestler, seeing all these wrestlers doing great things, it was like, that could be me. And then on top of that, I'm from Reno, Nevada. Saw Ryan Bader crushing it in the UFC. I was like, that's a Reno boy wrestling in college and is killing it in MMA. So that, like, I was like, this can be done. And that's what I wanted to do. Thanks, Sully. Is that it? That's it.